Typically, what happened in terms of power audit to you, what you do is that the total electrical connections which are there against the design which has been done, you try to find out uh, whether it is using and consuming the same power. The impedance which are there uh, neutral to what has been created, are they still continue to be same? Uh, the variation in terms of uh, uh, your consumption or uh, power differences which are there, whether they remain same and whether there are any impurities which are getting involved into uh, the power consumption. Uh, why are they, why we treat that as an important is that because uh, neutral power never remains same in most of the country, space and uh, depending on the space, place where you are doing it, depending on uh, whether there has been shift or anything which is saying, the impedance can be cause uh, a, a huge variety and that can actually uh, make your power consumption and usage uh, extremely different from what it was. And uh, those are the things, which, that's number one. Number two is that you have designed uh, a particular infrastructure with certain objective in mind. But over a period of time, there are certain tweaking or changes which takes place. And uh, most invariably, the tweaking and changes which take place uh, may not have the same efficiency and effectiveness as it has been created during the earlier part. If, if the design does not uh, has a built-in growth into it. And uh, whenever such a thing happen, invariably you incorporate uh, certain amount of deviation which are there. So those also get highlighted and uh, it helps you uh, in creating an, uh, a proper dialogue with your management vis-a-vis -vis the budgeting and the monitoring exercise which you are doing. From whichever manufacturer you are taking the server, uh, you can know the ratings of that particular server depending on the type of server, model and the usage which is there and it can be given at uh, low, medium or peak thing which is there. And you can use all those three parameters in your calculation in terms of the number of servers which are there and uh, the how many servers which are loading into one rack. So the amount of rack load which is existing, the number of racks which could be uh, existing across uh, your data center. Uh, so many of the racks may have servers, but many other racks may have other switches, routers, muxes, uh, PABXs and so and so. And each one of them may have a different consumption pattern and rating which is there. So you get a kind of a baseline of a budget. Uh, budgeted figures of what is what is the usage which you have and against that if you are monitoring your consumption pattern then you come to know whether there are any deviation or movement which is taking place for beneficial or against it. All our building which we have implemented has a building management system. So we already monitor variety of things like temperature, uh, airflow, we monitor uh, electrical consumption at different segments which we have created. Uh, we also have uh, quantitative information in terms of what is a kind of a uh, usage pattern or crowding which is there. We also keep into mind uh, the utilization aspect. So like uh, if a particular zone is being utilized on a 24 hour basis or whether it is being utilized on a lower say. So those are some of the factors which keep in point uh, from monitoring aspect. And those monitoring tell us whether uh, uh, do we need any shift, change, amendment or correction which is required. Uh, we also have uh, certain thresholds which are there. And if the threshold changes, it gives alert in the building management system. So that intelligent management system tells us uh, whether uh, things have either power or uh, temperature or consumption have gone beyond a threshold and what action to be taken on that.